Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, May 8th. Keep in mind that this is the energies I am picking up on today, but it could resonate whenever. All right. This is for all signs. Tuesday, May 8th. If you guys would like a quick reading and you have an Apple iPhone, you can check me out on Instago. The link is right below. You just click that link. It brings you right there. If you want a private reading other than Instago, you know, that information is below as well. So right away we have the Empress Reverse. This is, represents the sign of Taurus generally. Um, this may be somebody that um, is smothering or selfish in reverse, okay? Somebody that is a little bit too much. There could be no growth in a situation, or this could even be, you know, um, a loss of self-worth, perhaps. Oh, well, here we have uh, the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So we have the, you know, we could have somebody around you that has really good intentions, okay? This is somebody that is very kind, loving, loving, um, looking for romance, perhaps. But this is somebody who could be... offering you the real real love okay but somebody may not feel wor worthy of this love interesting oh. oh so now we have the knight of swords so we have Taurus Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, the Knight of Swords, Reverse. This is somebody who's all talk. Um, they may be stepping on somebody's toes. Uh, there could be some harsh communication. Maybe there could even be a fight. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't think before they speak. Oh my God. This must be the page and this is the new deck. This is the page and this is the knight. So we have the page of swords and we have the knight of swords. So this is, this is like, there's difficult communication, put it that way. May 8th, there's a difficulty in communication here. There could be a, a choice between two people, okay, and there's difficulty in which, which way to turn, all right. Um, somebody, when you get the Empress in reverse, you, there's somebody who ha may have many options. So this may be you. Okay, this is typically a woman that may have many options and she has to make a decision with her heart, okay? And it, it appears that there could be a decision between two people here. We have a water sign and an earth sign. Huh. And these doesn't have to be lovers, okay? This could be children because she's a mother, okay? This is a, this is a, a mother here, this empress. So this could be children, this could be two lovers, it could be a child and a lover, okay, with this page of swords. There could be some argument going on and you have to take sides, or this could simply be between two people, you know, it could be between two partners and somebody just doesn't know, know what to do. I think there's one person that has to make a choice. One person has really good intentions and one does not. And either one of them, it could go vice versa, somebody has good intentions and the other does not. Interesting. Ooh, ooh, so there's a lack of passion and a lack of growth here. Definitely, definitely. So I think, like, somebody has lost the spark, okay, for, for something. 
no no more nothing solid there's there's nothing solid here there's no new opportunity i don't know it could be with this water sign or anybody but there's no new new solid beginning here somebody has a choice between two people yeah i figured that i knew that was the case somebody has a choice between the new and the past there's two paths here. You're at a crossroads. You can't take both. You can't have your cake and eat it too. What's it going to be? You have to, can only take one. You can either, you know, you can't take both. So you have to make a decision. There's options. And, it, and I could, yes. Okay. There's some options here. I feel like there is probably a woman. And I know there's probably men watching this, but you guys would be the man. Okay. I think there's a woman that has options. Okay. And she has to make a choice with her heart instead of her mind. She has to make a, a heartfelt decision here. And I think that right now she's, she's going through a period of despair because she probably doesn't feel like she's worthy for one of them. One of them she doesn't feel worthy enough. But I think that she's lack, lost the spark for another one. I don't know what is going on here. But anyway, there is a... Lack of growth and a lack of anything solid and stable in one arena. But in order to move forward down this new path, she's going to have to make a change. Okay, A change is needed. Look at something from a new perspective. And she's going to have to um, take a risk. Okay, So whoever this person is, could be man or woman, but I think it's a woman, is going to have to take a risk to go down this new path and leave something else behind that once was solid and exciting where it is no more okay it's no more solid and exciting and this woman who has to make this decision probably lacks self-esteem and self-worth and so she's having a really hard time making the right decision okay but she definitely has to make a decision all right and she's probably trying to take her time because with the knight of whoops the knight of swords reverse that, that can signify no rush she's trying not to quickly make this decision you know because it's a heartfelt uh decision that needs to be made <laughs> so i feel as though um <laughs> She's being, she's gonna, does she take this risk or not? So do you take the risk or not? That's the question here, right? In one arena, there's no passion. There's no, there's no growth. Okay. There's no, no, nothing solid, no new beginning. It's like, there's nothing getting off the ground. And in one, in one scenario, nothing is getting off the ground, but there is a new opportunity here in which there's really no rush, but you know, you're being called to, you know, probably go down the new path, struggle through this change. But I think it's very difficult. It's very difficult to accept this change and go down this path. Okay? It's it's like... Somebody could be moving too fast. Something could be moving too fast and making somebody feel uncomfortable. It's a it's, it's an uncomfortable change. You know what I'm saying? Somebody has to make an uncomfortable change or an uncomfortable decision. And and I feel feel like it's a woman, and it's it's not easy. So I'm trying to take my time making this decision. Oh jeez, I'm uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, Hmm. Now this could be any woman. It really could. It could be any woman, but it feel you know it represents Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Here we have uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I feel like you know there's there is, and this is Taurus as well. So anyway, there is a um, well, there's a woman that is watching this, and this will not resonate with everybody. Any sign, but you know that has to make a head over heart decision in regards to which way she is going to move forward and i feel like there has been a lack of communication in one arena from somebody so she is leaning towards making a decision in one direction and she is probably about to halt or stop 
giving to one situation. You know, she's going to totally shut herself off from one situation. You know, there's going to be no more growth, period. It's over. It's done. Okay, these are, it's no more, nothing. Very, very stubborn woman. Yeah, no longer wanting to prove herself. Somebody no longer wants to prove themselves. I just want to be happy. I'm, I'm not going to fight for this anymore. I'm not going to fight for this. I'm not going to stand around and fight for this anymore. I'm not. It's time for me to take a risk. Because somebody hasn't been taking action. They haven't moved forward. They've completely stalled, stopped. And I think that, you know, somebody has made a decision to go down a new path because somebody else took too long. What the hell is this? Yeah, somebody's given up. Like I said, she's given up. This woman, and it can be any sign, is giving up. I'm done. I'm giving up. I am no longer going to cheat myself. We have the seven of swords. The truth has come out. I see the truth. I hear the truth. I know the truth. I am no longer going to wear this mask and halt the forward movement. Somebody has been stalling with moving forward, but with the hangman reversed, they're finally deciding to, to stand up. Stand up. It's time for me to let go of the situation and stand up. So somebody is, is about to stand up in a situation for themselves and release conflict. They're going to release conflict and stick to it. Stick to it. No, I'm, I'm never going back. Yes, I'm starting a new journey. I'm, I, somebody is starting a brand new journey. Not bringing the past with them. And I believe, and you know, I know there's many men watching this, but I feel like there's a woman here that is watching this that is ending something for good. A solid decision has been made. Okay? A decision has been made. To be happy and accept the truth And take a risk, take a leap of faith with someone new. I feel like there's a there's a there's an opportunity for new love or a new partnership here, but somebody has to absolutely close the door to the past because there's no more growth, there's nothing solid, there's there's been no forward movement. Nobody has communicated, nobody has yeah, there's been no communication. Somebody has totally not taken any action to make something grow. So I feel like because the other person didn't take any action, somebody has decided that I did, I'm going to do what I have to do and release this so that I can be happy. I'm letting go of this conflict. I'm going to start my new journey. It's time for me to start over. I'm, I'm starting over. I'm not taking this with me. So I feel like somebody is starting a new journey without the past. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not going to let the past hold me back anymore. That's what it looks like to me. I've taken this mask off. I'm not going to deceive myself. I'm going down the new road. Let's get a couple of these for the heck of it. Oh, look at that. This was reversed, okay? So we're just going to let it stay reversed. Okay, that's how it came out. That's how they came out. There's a separation on the horizon. Okay? 
there's a separation on the horizon, so a, a true separation, whether you've separated with this person already in physical form or not. The true separation happens when you separate them internally, when you separate internally. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. There was a union that is no more. It's over. And I feel as though this had to happen so that the new relationship could have a chance. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership with the new, the new person. I feel like there's an opportunity for love to flourish if somebody can let go of the past fully. So I feel like the message for today is to take a risk. Okay, take a risk with whoever this new person is. Take a risk. With the fool next to the hangman reverse, it's big. I consider when you see this sometimes. I mean, the hangman reverse is kind of like the fool. Okay, so it's it's time to have it take a leap of faith with. And this is the first card in the deck, which is a new beginning with a new partner. After you fully separate from this person, whoever it was that didn't offer you anything stable and secure. And fertile. They didn't allow your worth to shine through. They didn't see your worth. Somebody did not see your worth. And now it's time for you to cut them out and give the new relationship a chance. If somebody isn't communicating with you, then they aren't worth it. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. And that's exactly what's going on. It's time to let the past go fully. Whoever didn't see your worth, whether this is in love or this is at a job, however this resonates... Let them go. They didn't see your worth. They, in, they stunted your growth big time. And it's time to separate from them. Release them. Release that anxiety and worry that they brought into your life. Okay? Release it. And give the future relationship a chance. Don't bring it with you. Embrace the moment, embrace the feeling, move forward, take your time, and let the new beginning start. So anyway, I feel like there is a woman here that has to make a choice. Do I truly let go of the past? Could be a, could be a man, whatever, or not. Talk to you later.